Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for this video, as you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be giving y'all an update on this wig and I'm also going to be showing y'all some hairstyles for a headband wig. So I decided to put two videos in one. First, I'm going to be updating y'all on how the hair is holding up and then I'm also going to be doing some styles. So far, the hair has been really good. It's been keeping the curl pattern. The curl pattern is really nice and pretty. Again, it is 100% human hair, so it is not going to shed or, or it's gonna shed of course because it's curly hair but it's not going to you know tangle and be like you know synthetic hair also you definitely can straighten the hair as well um i might do a video on that because i want to see how it turns out and if it will be able to revert back it's a little bit frizzy right now because i only put water in my hair i didn't put any mousse or any other product in my hair so it is a little bit dry right now but i will add some more stuff to my hair but this is how it's looking it's really really nice like i said um, also, I did comb through the hair and I wanted to leave the hair in the brush to show y'all how much was shedding. Um, and this is about how much that came out of the brush and it's not a crazy amount actually. It's not too, too bad. And I did a pretty, you know, thorough brush through my hair. And yeah, so the wig, I definitely give this a 10 out of 10 and recommend the wig. A lot of people said that they were going to go get it after they watched my video, which I'm happy about. I posted that video about a week ago and I, you know, did the install couple days before so it's been a week and a couple days i didn't really give a lot of specifics about the wig like the length and hair color and all that but it is a 20 inch wig and then also the color the hair color is more of a number two kind of like a brown color it actually is brown it's like dark brown it's not black at all like you can see this and it's not black so that is basically the review part of the wig and how the wig has been holding up for about a week almost two weeks actually definitely a 10 out of 10 for sure i recommend it and like I said, I will have the link in the description box. I'll have both for my video that I did and then the link to the wig in the description box below. But with all that being said, we can move on to the hairstyles. So before I started any of the styles, I went ahead and added some water and mousse to the hair to get some definition. And for the first hairstyle is to wear it down. You can use some water and then any styling product of your choice. You can even change your headband and just leave the hair out. And for the next hairstyle, I'm going to continue to leave my hair down. And I'm just taking two pieces of hair from the front of the wig. And I'm trying to make them kind of thin or as thin as I can possibly get it. And I'm just going to pull those in front and kind of separate it from the rest of the hair. Um, I did decide to use another headband because like I can't not use another headband. Like I have to use another headband in order to hide that part up there. So I'm just taking the new headband and putting that one on. This one has like a little knot thing at the top here. You can use whatever headband you want to use. Um, and yeah, so now I'm taking those two front pieces and I'm spraying some more water on it just to help kind of define it it was a little frizzy and I'm kind of finger coiling it also also I went back in on the actual wig part and I had to put a little more water on it it was feeling kind of dry so I went ahead and did that and this is what the second hairstyle looks like Moving on to the third hairstyle, I'm just taking a hair tie, a satin scrunchie, and I'm just tying my hair into a lower ponytail, and I'm still keeping the two-piece bang part in the front there, and that's all for the third hairstyle. Next hairstyle, I'm taking my hair in the front and I'm trying to part it out. Um, it's not perfect or anything like that because I can't really get a perfect part with this being a wig. So I went ahead and took some hair from the front, like I said, and I'm just pulling it up into a ponytail and I'm doing a half up, half down style. And I was trying to fluff my hair out also a little bit just to make both sides even. So this is what the fourth hairstyle looks like. So for the next style, number five, I'm taking that same ponytail that I had pulled up and I just took it down and I'm making it into two ponytails this time. I went ahead and I also had to add a little bit more hair to each side, but I'm taking my scrunchies and I'm making two ponytails. I tried to make them as even as I possibly could. Number six. 
And then once I got them in the ponytail, I'm taking a piece of hair out of the ponytail and I'm wrapping it around the base of the ponytail. It does look really messy right now, but I am going to go off camera and fix it. I even fixed the whole like pigtail, the whole ponytail on both sides. So in a couple seconds here, you can see it looks a lot better. I added a little more hair and I just neatened it up a lot more. Um, I also went ahead and I'm spraying more water on the hair. Um, and yeah, so this is hairstyle number five number six i already lost count but i know this is number five and this is probably my favorite hairstyle out of the whole video all right so the next hairstyle i'm taking my hair and i'm doing two pigtails basically or i'm starting off doing that they're going to be turned into two buns so I'm making them, I'm trying to make them as even as I can on both sides um, when I put it into the ponytails. And this is how it looks. You can leave it like that if you want to, but I took it a step further and I twisted them up and turned them into buns. They weren't completely even. Um, maybe if I, if I was really wearing this out or whatever, then I would make sure that they're even. But they were a little bit uneven, but they still looked cute. They were still like proportionate, I guess, but they were kind of just like... They were shaped differently, if that makes sense. But this is how this style looks, number six. For the next hairstyle, I'm pulling all my hair up into, or I'm going to be pulling it all up into a high ponytail. With this, you want to be careful to not pull the wig because that's what I was doing on accident. And it kept like sliding up along with the ponytail and almost coming off my head. So just be careful when you're doing that. Um... And yeah, so I went ahead, I got it on, I fixed the headband and everything, and I also wet the ends of my hair. And this is how the hairstyle is looking, number seven. Moving on to the eighth hairstyle, I'm just taking my hair, or taking the ponytail, and I'm taking the ends and wrapping it around into a bun. I also had to use another um, ponytail holder just to hold it down a little bit more secure. So yeah, that's what the eighth hairstyle is looking like, just a high bun. So for the next two hairstyles, because I am going to be counting this as two, I am just going to be adding a hat onto the wig. Um, the first hat that I have is just a bucket hat and this is what it looks like. It's just black and has like some a stitching detail on the outside of it. And yeah, so this is hairstyle number eight or number nine. And then for the next one, I have this other hat, which is like a um, baseball hat. It's like this furry one. It's really pretty. And that's hairstyle number 10. I did prefer the other one more, so yeah. But that's all for this video. Hope you guys liked the video and all the hairstyles I showed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content and more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!